Well, not too bad of a way to start a morning. I left the house right around 5 o'clock just to beat the heat and see what the world looked like. It was a bit misty in places. The spider silk from the night before was hanging in the grass. The light was gorgeous. A little bit of cloud to the east, but over where I was in the Harold Creek Valley, beautiful and sunny. I'd come out this way to look for a family of wild horses I'd photographed before. The little foal is a cremello, a kind of a white color with blue eyes, and I hoped to see them. But even if I didn't, it's still such a beautiful place. This Harold Creek Valley full of willows and wild flowers is barely an hour's drive from downtown Calgary. <laughs> Hard to believe sometimes the variety of landscapes we live in. But though I didn't see that little family of horses, I did find this bunch. They were determined to get to a salt block and they ran off a bunch of cattle just so they could lick at it. If you listen carefully, you might hear kind of creaky cooing sound. That's the sound of the horse's teeth on the salt block. Very strange. I hung out with the horses for a bit and then rolled on to see what else I could see. And ended up over in the Burnt Timber Creek Valley. There's a lot of little springs here that pop up and all kinds of interesting things around them. Like this incredibly colored moss. And all that buzzing you hear, for some reason the hoverflies really loved my microphone. I stopped again in a little sheltered creek valley that was just full of all kinds of fluorescent green horsetails. Bunchberry. Even a few roses. Incredible place. But as I was wandering around along the creek, uh, I heard kind of an interesting sound. Could this be what I think it is? Yep. Well, I think I'm about to get hailed on, so uh, I'm just going to go down the road a little bit and see what happens. And maybe turn around and go back the other way. Ouch. Yeah, that's hail. Maybe I'll just... Yeah, okay. I'm turning around. Fortunately, that did not last very long, especially the big stuff. And then just a couple miles down the road, I found this guy. It's a rough grouse, and he really thought he could hide from me, but I managed to pick him out among the leaves. Morning had turned into early afternoon now, and the heat of the day was coming on strong. I found this police car moth on a blanket flower, and lots and lots of these wood lilies. Paintbrush all over the place, too. Little spring-fed creeks trickling along. I don't know the name of these tiny flowers, but they're really pretty. And a hummingbird moth. I wish I could have gotten closer, but man, I've, I don't think I've ever seen one in the wild before. The cool of the morning was gone now, and it was pushing 30 degrees as I flew my little drone over these pond lilies. On top of that, the storm was catching up to me. Time to call it a day. Time to call it a wonderful day.